field trip. So hopefully we're going over here. We're going to go over to the baptismal pond. Alright, so unfortunately some people are going to get my back, so let me uh, stand here. Alright, I'll come around. I'm over here. Okay, we're going to talk just a few minutes. How many of you uh, took a bath last night or, or shower this morning? Okay, I, I, my mom always said we had to take a bath at night so that we would put on clean pajamas and keep our bed clean. All right. When my little brother and I, Rob, were, were about your age, we used to go to my grandparents' house, and in the backyard they had this uh, a wooden box, you know, board, and it had a lot of dirt in it. And we would take a can of water, and we would go in there, and we would make mud pies. You ever make mud pies? We would we put water, we put dirt in it, we'd make it like a dough, and then we would flatten the dirt out and we put it on rocks and we let the sun dry it. And of course we couldn't eat mud pies and mud cookies. Alright. But when we came in for lunch, what do you think my mom and grandma told me? Wash your hands. Wash your hands. You're not gonna sit at the table and eat your lunch looking like that. Alright? <laughs> no, we had to wash up. Yeah, you get germs on you and everything. And so, you know that there's a word that we just had. Jesus was baptized, all right? And this is the baptismal font. Font is kind of short for fountain, where water comes out of it, all right? So we got a lot of symbolism here. If you listen, it said the Holy Spirit came down like a dove. It's like this bird here. And then we got flames, and Jesus is the light of the world. All right. Now I'm going to take this. No, they're not weeds. They're they're like they're like flame, like like a candle. They're like little flame. And there's three of them. There's three things. So all right. Now, this is heavy. So I'm going to set this down. And so like when you when you wash, when your mom does your laundry. Does she just put your clothes in the washing machine and, and turn it on and that's it? No, she has to put, she, she looks for them and see if there's any stain. Yeah, but did, And it's her sink, yes, it's for it with shock stuff. Okay, and, 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 and when you're in the bathtub, do you just get wet and then get out of the tub and dry off? Well, what do you, is there anything you use? Soap, all right, you have to use soap, because soap is kind of what kills the germs and it helps. Sometimes we have to lay down in the bathtub, yes, and then we can come up out of the bathtub. So there's a lot of things that you know that the word baptism, when Jesus was alive and in, in living on earth, the word baptism, you know what it means? No, it means to wash. It comes from the Greek word baptizo, which means to wash. So you have to baptizo your dishes, Baptizo your body, baptizo, you know, whatever needs to be washed. And so this is a washing. And so what we're going to do, and, and so this, so we got water. Now, is it just water that we use for baptism? No, we, we use soap. And what is the soap? What is the soap? Well, the Bible. There you go, the Bible. The word, so when we have a baby up here, or an adult, because sometimes adults get baptized, or older children, we say we baptize in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. And it's when you add those words, it's like adding soap to your baptism. And what does that do? Now, you may have gotten, taken a bath when you were baptized, but what did you have inside on your soul? What do you have? Sin, yeah, sin is kind of like dirt all over our soul. So when we lie or we get angry or we steal things or whatever, then we've got all this dirt on our soul. And so Jesus said, you know, be baptized. So he tells everybody, come and be baptized. Now, we only baptize people once, all right, because it works. We don't have to keep doing it over and over again. Well, because God says you don't have to do it over and over again. But what we just had, confession, we confessed our sins, 
Holy Spirit living in us tells us when we've done something wrong, we need to confess our sin and ask for forgiveness. And God says, and then pastor says, you know, God is pastor's pastor. He says, I forgive you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. So that's like being baptized spiritually. Every time you confess your sins, you ask God to forgive you. And then God says, I forgive you because I love you. And uh, so then you're clean again. All right. Any questions? What? No, it is. It's kind of gold looking. No, it's not gold. It'll be a lot heavier. All right, Joey. No, no, it, it's it's all glued together. So, we, all right, we can go back and sit down here.